Convicted school shooters chance for parole is now being delayed today. Parole board members of Kentucky pushing back a decision holding off about releasing Michael Carneal convicted of shooting and killing three students and hurting five others at Heath High School in Paducah in 1997. He got li he got life in prison and now he is up for parole. Grace McKenna has been covering his parole hearings and she joins us in the newsroom tonight. Grace, we learned today that the decision is going to have to wait for just a few days. Yeah, Doug, today a two member parole panel couldn't come to a unanimous decision about releasing Michael Carneal. That means the full board will consider whether he should be released. Today, we heard Carneal make the case for why he should get out. After nearly an hour of questions, no decision on whether convicted school shooter Michael Carneal will go free. The board is unable to reach a unanimous decision at this time. Carneal was 14 when he shot and killed three students and injured five at Heath High School. Now up for parole, he told a state board he's received mental health care, got his GED and took college classes while incarcerated. I've had 25 years to prepare for today and it still doesn't seem like it's happening. Carneal said voices told him what to do that day in 1997. Despite treatment, he still hears voices telling him to do harmful things as recently as a few days ago. Do you recall what that voice told you to do? Jump off the stairs, jump down the stairs. If released, Carneal says he'd live with his parents, get a job and work towards independence. But before the board, he seemed uncertain he should go free. Mr. Carneal, do you believe you deserve an opportunity of parole today? I don't know that, honestly. I mean, it, it depends on when you ask me. Sometimes I think, you know, that I, I would just deserve to be killed. Monday, seven victims nearly unanimously said Carneal should stay in jail, just one arguing for a second chance. Continuing his life in prison is the only way his victims can feel comfortable. But if the mental health experts think he can be successful on the outside, he should get that chance. Heath High was one of the first school massacres in the United States. Carneal has been incarcerated for the many since. Even today when these things happen, I feel responsible for them on some level. For now, he'll stay in jail. Monday's panel pushed the choice to the full parole board to decide Cornell's fate. And the full state parole board will convene next Monday morning to make a decision. They could release Carneal, have him serve out his full sentence, or defer his opportunity for parole for as long as 10 years. In the newsroom, Grace McKenna, WHAS 11, on your side. All right, Grace, thank you. It's going to be interesting to see what they decide.